I kind of came here on a whim. I actually left my place headed to a deep, clear pond, but I decided on the way to that pond to switch things up completely to a shallow and dirty river. Because we've had a lot of rain recently in New Hampshire where I live, it's really dirtied up the Merrimack River, so it is really high and dirty. And despite it being November, I still think I'll be able to hook into a couple fish because with that high and dirty water, I think that's really gonna push the fish to backwater spots out of the main current. And I can really kind of pinpoint the fish. Now, to be honest with you guys, I'm fishing a heavily pressured spot and it's a Saturday, so I highly doubt I'm gonna be the only one here. So I kind of really wanna make this intro nice and short and sweet. But I am gonna be starting off with this ball head from Kitek. This is 3 16 of an ounce. And I'm gonna be throwing on a Mega Bass Hazadong Shad. And this is the biggest size they offer, the 4.2 inch. Now, I really like using, I believe it's the three inch for drop shotting. So I definitely wanna try out this biggest size here. This soft plastic is super soft. So in this really cold water, it really shouldn't mess with the action of this bait. And I just love that it comes with that little eyeball. I just think that's so cool. All right, super simple, all rigged up, ready to go. This little ball head tied to eight pound line. Like I said, thought I was gonna be fishing some clear water today, so I downsized the rods and lures I brought today. But I'm fishing eight pound fluorocarbon sunline, and hopefully using this light of tackle doesn't bite me in the rear end later, cause I have caught some decent sized fish in here. Never this time of the year though, but I'm just gonna throw this Hazadong Shadow and slowly reel it back to me. Now there are definitely smallmouth in the Merrimack River. But uh, fishing this kind of backwater spot that's shallow and weedy, even though it's going to be warmer than the main river, the smallmouth aren't really going to come back here. So today I'm just going to be targeting some largemouth and probably some pick pickerel as well. Got one. I was kind of yo-yoing my bait. Really gotta play these fish with the eight pound line. Uh, what a nice hook set right in the roof of the mouth right there. Boop. All right, this fish is freezing, but not a bad pounder to start it off. But I started off with just a slow and steady retrieve and uh, nothing. And I believe that was the second cast I started doing kind of a yo-yo retrieve. And uh, that fish hit it on the drop. So I think I'm just going to try to replicate that yo-yo action. There's another one. Oh. 
another little bass on the uh, Hazadong Shad here. Probably about a half pounder, but he has a scar right there. Got attacked by something. Glad he's doing okay though. But it definitely seems like they are on that yo-yo retrieve. And I've only been here maybe about 15, 20 minutes. So it's really nice to uh, figure the pattern out pretty early into the day. Really? It's a little ridiculous, don't you think? Got one. On the fall. I don't think it's very big. But, it's fun. Like I said, I have to take it easy because a nick in this 8-pound line can really turn it into 4-pound line really quick. So, definitely want to take it easy. I know I've said that quite a few times today, but these fish are so chilly. Got one. Not a very big one. Ah, oh, it's a crappie. Well, pickerel and bass aren't the only fish that want to get out of the current, but just a little crappie on the ball head. There we go. A little crappie. It almost looked pinky. Well, I definitely thought that that was a fish. Get out of here, stupid. Got him. Oh, I saw that bass come and eat. Good thing it wasn't very big because I am right over top of a little brush pile. And if it was big, it just would have brought me right down in. Oops. Another bass. Nice. <laughs> Look at that one. All the way down in there. Another little guy. Man, these fish are cold. Like I know, 
I shouldn't be so surprised it's November, but dang. Oh, okay. Good largey. Nice, right in the roof of the uh, nose right there, the mouth. Three quarters of a pound. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> My bait was dropping to the bottom and I hesitated for a second and then continued to drop to the bottom. I don't know how I hooked him on the outside of the mouth like that, but. Just a little large mouth. Feels like a little guy. <clears throat> Not a bad one, but can't get any size to them really. They've all been about a pound, but I'm still giving up hope. If there's a bunch of those small ones in here, and they're relatively aggressive. I do think if I come across a big one, then they'll eat the swim bait as well. I really have no reason not to believe that right now. on the fall at that time. <clears throat> Just a little guy. This one might be the littlest, littlest of the day. It's a quarter pounder without cheese. Ooh. My line is frayed. But, I'm going to do nothing about it. Just gonna pretend like I didn't just feel all the phrase in there. No! Yeah, it feels like it's stuck good. If that was snagged any deeper, don't think I was gonna get it back. You're kidding me. That feels like a nicer one. <clears throat> My 
might be a uh, pickle. Hasn't come up to the surface yet. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. And back down it goes. Ooh! That's a nice large mouth. Nice large mouth. I'm gonna go down there and lift him. Uh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. That is a solid small mouth. <laughs> small mouth, I can't believe I just said that. That's a solid large mouth right here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That one's pushing two pounds almost. Sorry about that, Bass. Kind of put them back top heavy. No way. <laughs> While I was reeling it back to the boat, a crappie latched on. I don't even know how I caught you, but just a fat one. As you can tell, he's got shoulders on him, but. Got it. Oh, this guy's got to be real little. Yeah. Kind of a big yellow perch, but kind of in the grand scheme of things, not very big. Feels like another perch. Oh my goodness. That is one of the biggest crappies I've ever caught. I'm gonna have to go down here and lip him. I don't even think I can boat flip him. Get over here, you foolish crappie. My goodness. There are some people who already would have bonked you in filleted you. I mean, that is some good meat. That is a thick crop. But lucky for you, I caught you. So you live another day. No way is this a fish. Oh my goodness, big fish. Big fish. I was just kind of messing around. I didn't think I was gonna catch this big of a fish on eight pound line. I gotta figure something out and quick before he gets me wrapped up. There's nothing I can do right now. Good large mouth. Good large mouth with eight pound line. I'm just kind of at the mercy of what he wants to do. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. <laughs> On eight pound line, I did not think I was going to be able to land him. And I was about to leave. What a nice two pound bass here. Probably even a little bit over two pounds, but he has like this weird mite on him. I'll take him off. Look at that thing. So weird. All right. This chunky guy or girl back.
think I actually tightened my drag on that flight too just because I couldn't let them get too deep into snags I'm gonna switch out this Mega Bass lure. It actually lasted a very long time. Quite surprised. This is a soft, soft plastic, but that one lasted quite a while. And in this cold water, you definitely want like a soft, soft plastic. Because the colder the water, the kind of stiffer your bait is gonna be. Another one. You guys hear that drag? Nothing I can do though. Nothing I can do. I just gotta force them over here as much as I can. This one is definitely bigger than that other one. Nothing I can do though. You guys hear that? I gotta get them away. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yes! That's the second bass off of that snag right there. <laughs> Oh wow, what a fatty. This one's easy three and a half pounds right here. Wow, what an intense fight. Intense fight, what a fat fish. That's what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna go all the way up to the end of this canal. It's probably about a quarter of a mile and then it connects back to the main river. My GoPro just died like two minutes ago and caught a, another nice large mouth on the Hazadong Shad. I casted right at the base of that log right there and uh, he came out and hammered it, not the biggest one. 